Hey guys, I want to give a special shout out to my buddy Artful Vengeance for sponsoring today's video and helping me with today's giveaway. We are giving away two 60 day game time cards to two brand new players for Final Fantasy XIV. Two people that want to get started in the game Final Fantasy XIV and Realm Reborn for PS4 and PC. Now the requirements for this giveaway are... You have to be a brand new Final Fantasy XIV player or you have to be willing to start a brand new account or this giveaway is not going to work and you won't be able to participate. So this is for new players only. People that have never played Final Fantasy XIV or wanting to start brand new Final Fantasy XIV accounts. Secondly, all you have to do is subscribe to Artful Vengeance's channel. Link to that will be in the description below. Follow him on Twitter and tweet him the hashtag Tanek sent me and then Artful Vengeance will pick two winners remember brand new accounts or new players only enjoy today's video guys Gamers and game gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another Terra console video. And man, I am hyped today, baby. Guys, we have some wonderful, wonderful news about Terra console. Like I told you guys, man, this game is going to be making a comeback. And here we have one of the very first steps in the right direction. Like, this game is going to be... Mm. But anyway... We have server merges finally coming and an actual date for when they happen. And this is just a this is a really good thing because servers have been looking, you know, like really dead. And I kid you guys not. I even had my son, um, who's only ten years old right now. He was actually starting to play this on um on Xbox a little bit because he thought it looked really cool. And um he was asking me, he was looking around the summer event and he was like, Dad, he was like, This is one of those big MMO games you cover on your channel, right? And I was like, Yeah, why? What's up? He was like, well, he says, aren't MMOs supposed to have tons and tons of people? I was like, well, yeah, they do usually. I said, why? What's wrong? He says, well, I'm at the summer event. And he says, it's dead. There's nobody here. And I, I thought to myself, I was like, ooh. <laughs> even, a, even a 10 year old realizes that, you know, we need server merges. So, <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty apparent. But anyway, there's an article here straight from Mass Entertainment giving some details and stuff about it. And I've also heard that they're supposed to be giving some type of um, roadmap for console for console development, which is a really good thing. As you guys know, last year they started a roadmap for, for PC. And I honestly think that's a really good thing that they're doing another. And I think that Terra really has a big, bright future ahead of it. Because um, if they didn't have massive plans for this game... Why make a roadmap? You know, why be so excited to showcase a bunch of your future plans and stuff like that? So, guys, I'm, I'm telling you, and I'm going to say it again. I've said it in multiple videos. Do not sleep on Terra. Get on, get on this game. I know there's not much to do at the moment, but I promise you, there will be. And if you let yourself sit behind, you're going to, you're, you're going to regret it later. I, I guys, just, just trust me. Trust me. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about this article. Get into these little details. It says server merges are coming to Terra. It says, as part of our ongoing efforts to improve the player experience, we want to make it easier for players to find friends, group up for runs, and otherwise enjoy the Terra community. To that end, we will be merging servers in all regions and platforms. They will also be merging servers on Terra PC, but that will occur later in the year. The policies for PC may be different than the consoles. So they've put together a bunch of questions and stuff like that. I'm going to skim through these just you know, to answer the ones that you guys will probably find the most important but most of all I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below so you guys can check the article out for yourselves or if you want to look at it more in depth but let's go ahead and get started it says which servers will merge this is probably the most important question you guys have for PlayStation 4 North America Dracoloth, Thalsa, Ovalith, Felbane, Hydrath will all be the new server one for PvE and for the PvP Nixaris and Huzrat will be the new PvP server. So basically, they're merging all of the PvE servers into one server and both of the PvP servers into one server, which is really an awesome thing. That's how things were in the technical test. And honestly, I said that in a video before. I wish I knew because I'd, I'd quote myself right here in this video. But I honestly said that's how things needed to stay. And I'm kind of glad that, you know, it's coming back. It's coming back to that. For PlayStation 4 Europe. 
Malagos, Skog, Skogrenath, I hope I said that right, Molak, Saravash will all be the new PvE server. And near Ranexus, Azakar will be the new PvP server for PlayStation 4 EU. For Xbox One North America, Smolch, Basilisk, Orisk, Melkatron will all be the new PvE server. And for PvP, Vesperax and Suryati will be the new PvP server. For Xbox One EU, Karasha, Abraxas, Firmberlisk will all be the new PvE server. Now the next question they're going to say here, when will the servers be merged? August 21st, 2018. That's when the server merges. And they said because this merge could take up to 12 hours, we're going to start to merge on August 20th. So during this time, servers will not be accessible. So guys, make sure you're prepared for a long, like half or all day, all day maintenance. Let's be realistic. This is probably going to be a, a long, long process. Chances are you're not going to be playing Terra till sometime mid or late day on the 21st. That's just that's just my guess. You know that, and that's not counting. You know issues they could possibly have or, or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. I hope them a, a smooth transition for all this, but things happen. You know, I'm just being realistic. Another question that goes to ask, I play on multiple servers. How many character slots will I end up with on the new server? By default, players with characters on more than one server will have their highest number of character slots, not characters necessarily on the new server. That is, if you have four characters on Malagos and two characters on Moloch, you'll have four character slots on the new server not six so basically basically what it's saying is you're gonna have the amount of character slots as your as the total amount of characters that you have so yeah basically you know it's just adding it's just adding the amount of characters that um that you have together I'm sure if you've purchased additional character slots those will be you know added in added in as well it says in addition the week before the server merges and mass entertainment is going to grant five free character slots to every account upon login but you will need to add those to the server where you have the most characters this will maximize your available slots on the new server so oh they're even hooking everybody up with more character slots that's freaking dope they're looking out for us with that one will you need to change your name if two or more characters share the same name prior to the merge only one character will keep the name on the new server the character will be automatically be rewarded to the to the one with the most playtime so if you have two characters that have the same name right Whichever one of those has the most playtime, that one will be awarded with the name. So you guys, um, I would honestly start, I will honestly start, um, preparing yourselves, preparing yourselves for that one. It says, will there be a name appeal process? There will not be a name appeal process for the server merge. We understand that no one wants to lose a character name. However, we feel that resolving name conflicts based on playtime is the fairest method available. I mean... <clears throat> That's gonna piss people off either way, but it's it, it's honestly, it's honestly it's it's honestly fair. Guild names and memberships will all be preserved and merged. If your guild name is already taken on the new server, your guild leader will be required to change it. So if there's um if there was another guild on a server that um that had the same that had the same name, um those are gonna be overridden too. I don't know how they're gonna how they're gonna judge that though. If the guild shares a name with another guild on a merge server, you will find and receive a, a tag designated for your guild's name must be changed. For example, when the guild Baraka style from Kasha and the guild Baraka style from Abraxas are merged into the new server, the older guild will retain its name and the newer one will need to change it. Okay, so once again, just like the character names, it's going off of playtime. Who's ever, who's ever been around the longest, they'll have the, you know, the, um, the the name the name dominant so okay that's that's very fair that's a that's a good thing whoever had it first you know gets to gets to keep it well I know I said I was gonna skim through that guys I went got, went ahead and get through mo got through most of it anyway but um I just wanted to, you know give you guys some comfort and let y'all know what's going on here with the um with the server merges and everything so let's make sure and we go over a few few key points number one remember guys it's gonna be happening August twenty first the ma the maintenance for it is gonna be starting August twentieth Number two, remember, character names, whichever name, whichever name has the most playtime will be the person that wins the character name. So if you got character names, you know, especially with um with uh with two different with two different characters, honestly, my personal opinion, if you're worried about one character losing the name, I would honestly look into, you know, investing into a 
character name change token early so that way you know you don't have that conflict say if you want your character with the less play time to really have that name I would say you know just go ahead and compensate for that and look out for that kind of thing so that way you can deal with it early and the situation doesn't you know pop up and you know just just um screw you or scare you or scare you later on and same thing with guild name guys whichever guild was you know was there first I haven't seen or heard about any guilds that had the same name but it's always possible Especially in Terra, because there's so many groups in the world named Lolly Squad. So <laughs> you guys know how know how that goes. But I just want to make sure I went over all those initial points. But anyway, guys, like I said, link will be in the description below of the video. If you all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy Tanek 127 And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.